Hi, my name is Ana Paula Pereira. I'm from Uruguay. Mostly I like doing portraits as I love capturing people through my camera. I love meeting people. Um, there is a moment when the person in front of you kind of has the entire confidence in you and start to show as they really are. Um, that moment is a magic moment. Um, even though I consider myself a really shy person, I love meeting people, get to know them, know what they think or feel about different matters. I consider the camera is, a, is an instrument that makes me feel confident to develop these interactions. This photo was intended as a part of a poem I wrote. Um, it is about memory and memories. I would like to share the poem with you. ¿Qué es lo que nos llevamos? ¿Qué recuerdos perdurarán siempre en nuestro corazón? ¿Cuántos recuerdos entran en nuestra mente? ¿Huelen los recuerdos? ¿A qué huelen? Entrelazo mis memorias intentando sacar las espinas mezcladas con flores. Recordar. Proviene del latín recordis y significa volver a pasar por el corazón. The last sentence is inspired by the quote by Eduardo Galeano from the book El Libro de los Abrazos, the book of Francis, and it is a really important quote for me. Uh, what I like most about this photo is it's like an invitation to look within myself to feel which memories are still beating inside. It's also an invitation through the eyes of Josefina, that is the mother's name, for everyone to look inside each one. The game of light and shadows with the tonalities of the rooms together with the colors of the dress, it's like a game of sensations that evokes on one hand a state of peace and on the other hand, at the same time, evokes a um, sense of melancholy and nostalgia. It is like when we smile remembering something nice that happened, but we can help miss that moment frozen in our memory. This photo was taken in a room in my grandmother's house, as the whole series thought of memories, I thought of placing it in a place that has many memories for me. It's a kind of a refugee for myself. Photography has been for me a way of introspection. It has led me to think, among other things, about the intricacies of human nature. To think about what something apparently simple is sometimes complicated, especially when we talk about feelings um, even more so when we try to explain them. My inspiration is the inner universe within ourselves. Asking myself what the different feelings mean for each one. What causes nostalgia? What effect has in us to return to a memory? And how it's possible sometimes to die a memory of a color and a smell? I think it occurs in a magic or mysterious way. Um, I like to think that it's a product of some form of universal energy that unites us all. Every time I had an idea in my mind and started thinking who could be the person that interprets that idea, magically appears. Either they reach to me or they appear as a thought or I see, for example, a post a post or something on social media that lead me directly or indirectly to this person. And at that moment, I know that that person is the one for the idea. I think that the connection and the energy that is achieved with that person is the most important thing. If this energy and connection exists, a magical thing happens. This is like the model, the camera and I merge and we are part of the same thing and we are part of what 
is happening at the moment, um, it's kind of, we leave it. I search through the simple narrative, through the photography that the viewer found themselves in the photograph. It can be through um, a look, a feeling, something that moves them. I try to show simple things that the viewer can feel that they can identify with. I feel inspired by many things, nature, our connection with nature, music, films, books. But lately I feel inspired by the search of trying to understand emotions and feelings and try to find the answers within myself. Each photography helps me see more and more inside. I think that Suardo is an amazing platform. It has allowed me to find different photography styles and different photographers from many parts of the world. I think that being so globalized and diversified is an important tool for each photographer to show their work before other eyes. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you.